Hi, I'm Paweł Spychalski and do you know that the type of the cable you use to connect your flight controller to the ESC actually matters? But okay, nowadays the type of the cable you use to connect ESCs to the flight controller is not really a case for the multi-rotor drones because nowadays we are mostly using the 4-in-1 ESC and then the cable is just super short and everything works as fine. However, if you have slightly longer wires and use separate ESCs, for example on a slightly bigger mini quad or for example or the or on the airplane and you decide that I want to use the fastest ESC fastest ESC protocol ever, like multi-shot running 8 kHz or D-shot 1200, there might be reasons for you to think about it one more time. Now, I'm not saying that what I will show you will affect your performance, but there are some moments, some cases, when you in general have a lot, a lot, a lot of the electric noise on, the, on your setup, mm, this might affect. Bear in mind we are talking about rather longish cable wires. Not a few centimeters, but that much. 20 centimeter, 10 inches above. If you have that long of the ESC wires connecting your signal from the flight controller to the ESC, think about using a twisted wire or the coax. And this is why I made an experiment. I connected the flight controller to the ESC, to the motor, to the oscilloscope and checked how the shape of the signal looks like. Is the square signal generated by the flight controller really a square signal when it arrives to the ESC? And guess what? It isn't. I have tested three different wire types. The first wire type was just a wire that connects point A, point B, nothing else. The second wire type was a twisted pair when the ground and the signal wire are twisted together. And the third wire type was a thin 1.3 millimeter coax wire. And for each of those wire, I tested four different ESC protocols. Those were Multi-shot at 4 kHz, multi-shot at 8 kHz, D-shot 600 and D-shot 1200. And now, let's just observe the outcome. Let's begin with the normal wire and the D-shot 600. As you can see, there is ringing after the signal goes from low to high. Probably not something that in this case would introduce any problems, but the ringing is very visible. Now, D shot 1200 on the same wire, exactly the same situation. Same for multi shot 4 kHz and exactly the same for multi shot 8 kHz. So, what we know up to this moment the wire and single wire and the modern ESC protocols, there is a distortion of the signal, there is ringing and in some of the cases this might, I'm not saying it will, but it might cause some kind of the problems. Now, let's go to the twisted pair. On D-Shot 600, ringing is visible, but it is much smaller, much lower than on a single wire. You see this versus this. D shot 1200, the ringing is still there and I have no idea why on the twisted pair the ringing on the D shot 1200 is even smaller than on 600. Oh well, interesting thing. Next one is the multi shot, very similar situation, some ringing much less than on the single wire and on the 8 kHz multi shot one more time exactly the same. And now let's go to the Thin coax cable. How much the coax cable can be different from a regular wire? Oh, look, look, you see, there is no ringing. The signal takes some time to settle, but it's not really overshooting the target, at least on the D-Shot 600. On the D-Shot 1200, some ringing, but not really very much. And to be honest, it looks almost perfect.
multi-shot 4 kHz, very nice traces, and the multi-shot 8 kHz, similar to the D-Shot 1200, definitely much better than anything else we observed today. So, ladies and gentlemen, what have we learned today? Yes, for the ESC signal, multi-shot, D-Shot, you name it, the type of the wire actually matters. And if you are one of those purists that want to have as nice of the signal traces as possible, use coax. If, however, you're like just the majority of the other pilots, just connect everything. Bear in mind, this not, it, it's not really an issue for the 4-in-1s when the wires are very short and usually just work out of the box. However, with the longer wire, that let's say this is 20 centimeters, uh, 8, 9 inches is a threshold, you should be careful with using the fastest possible ESC protocols to drive the signal from the ESC, from the flight controller to an ESC. Why? Because signal distortions will start to appear and at one point they might be so big that they will interfere the original signal and in case of the multi-shot you will have the slight degradation of the the quality of the performance, while with the D-Shot at one point the ESC can shut down completely because D-Shot works and then stops. Multi-Shot works, is more jerky, more jerky, more jerky, but works more or less up until the moment when the signal is just such a garbage that ESC has no idea what to do with it, but it's barely ever happening. I hope that it will you learned something today. Thank you very much for watching and until the next one. Bye-bye.